Okay, so I'm making this video to explain the new updates we've made to Proto Module. Um, we've kind of simplified the example and also just made the code a little cleaner just so it's easier for you guys to work with. Um, so if you remember in the last video, um, the endpoints for like the calculator tests and all that stuff were all inside of like the main.cpp and we've actually um, put that elsewhere and it's now in the source.cpp file. Um, but before we even go into that, I just want to tell you like how you should be developing your code right now. Um, basically, there is this struct called params, um, and that's located in source.h. And you can see right here, all it contains is name, because the example that I have is just storing the name as the only parameter. Um, but any parameters that you would receive from mission control, whether it be the position of a servo, um, the offset of the gimbal, um, or the mode that you're driving in. That's gonna all be stored here. So you just keep on adding things in here um, and then you could grab that. So um, you'll see that that param struct is being passed by reference in two sections. One to the init server function, which I'll go into in a second. Um, and then also you'll see down here into the um, say hello task. So basically you pass it into here and this will receive your updates to the parameters um, from you know, mission control, and then you pass it into your tasks, whichever ones you need to give the parameters to, so that they can then use that data and, you know, make an operation on it. Um, so first, let me show you what the say hello task is doing. So um, all of the tasks are located in rtos tasks.cpp. Um, and yeah, so here it is right here. So basically first it casts the, um, the pointer, um, from a null pointer, which is how FreeRTOS passes pointers into the param struct, which is what it was initially. Um, and then basically every 500 milliseconds, um, it then just prints out hello and then the, uh, the name located inside of that param struct that I showed you earlier, right here in source.h. Um, so now the question you're probably wondering is, okay, where is this value getting updated from? What is changing this value? Because by default, it's nothing. Right. Um, so the answer to that will lie now in the init server function. So we're going to jump into that now. So we're going to go to the source.cpp and you'll see there's a few things happening here. Um, first thing, we set up our Wi Fi network. Um, then we create our server endpoint for SSEs. You don't have to worry about that right now. Um, also, don't worry about this. But what's important here is just this XHR thing. Um, as you can see, I've wrote some comments if you want to read through this later. Uh, but basically, um, once we send an XHR to the update name endpoint, which is a post request, um, then we copy the contents of the um, the argument key, uh, key value pair um, in the request object being sent from mission control. And then we just send as a response to mission control, it was a success. So what this is doing is then copying the parameters like value um, into the params arrow name, which is once again in this struct thing. So basically how you should be developing code is you just you know create new endpoints, you update values inside of the param struct, and then you pass in that param struct into your RTOS tasks through this. Um, so one more thing I'm going to do is just show you this all working. Um, so I have two things going on. Um, one is just my console. Um, it's already flashed with this code, so we're just gonna do um, make monitor, which is, we'll get there eventually, there you go. Okay, cool, so as you can see right now, because the um, param struct is empty with the, the name value, it's saying hello and then nothing. Um, and then this is the other task, uh, the uh, vcount task, but we won't worry about that right now, you can look at that later. Um, okay, and then the other thing I have is the mission control interface, which I think I've told you guys about a few times already. Um, and uh, this is all on master now. So um, you can just clone the mission control branch or the, the, the repository. And then once again, just go to the modules and click XHR test module um, and then select that. Um, okay, so we have the IP address already pre-filled. Um, I'm gonna type in update underscore name. Uh, because that is the endpoint I've specified right here. Um, and then I'm going to pass in a parameter just called name. And then I'm going to say Ari. 
Um, and the reason I'm passing in name is because that corresponds to the thing that I'm grabbing. Um, and this is what you would do. You would, whatever the name of the parameter is, you can just grab it by its key name, um, and then you can convert it to a C string, um, which you can then like copy into the character array, which is how I've been doing it right here. Um, yeah, anyways, so moving back to the mesh control interface. So we have everything set up. We're going to click send XHR. Um, oh, I forgot to fill that in. Say dot four dot one. Okay. I click send. And then it says result success. So we can go over here, jump into the console, and then you'll see that it's now saying hello Ari. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, how you should be working with the new proto module. Um, so this is up in master. Um, so you just clone control systems master. Uh, you copy the proto module, you write your own code and your own copy of it. And then to test everything, you use the XHR test module, which is located in mission controls master. Okay, that's it.